Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Satoshi Sean, and he is the Irishman from Kiffs. Hey. Glad everyone's here. Uh, we're going to do our weekly update show, let you know what we've been uh, up to and go over a lot of the projects that we are working with and uh, are into. Um, it's, a long one. it's a big show. There's a lot of stuff we got to go over today because this is a lot of uh, a lot of things happening. Um, first, I guess we go over crypto.com, hit that because they're, yeah. do, they're doing a buttload. I'm sure yeah. you're excited. I am because our MCO cards are finally shipping in Europe. Yeah, that has taken a while, but they're finally getting them out. Yeah, I know you've been you've been waiting on it, man. Um, <laughs> Fucking well, waited. Thirty-one countries shipped. Yeah, it was weird that they got that they sent out the UK first, like way first. Um, yeah, but Ray only got his this week. Yeah, Metric. but it just shows you know you got to if you leave the European Union, things are better. Things move faster. By one week. Yeah. By one week. Um, <laughs> what I thought was uh, cool because you know I used to you know be a I'm not your financial advisor. This is financial advice, but I used to do that. Um, but I still have my insurance licenses and, uh, they secured another a hundred million dollar policy by arch underwriting, which is part of the Lloyd's syndicate, which they in actually invented insurance. Yeah. Um, so they have a total of $360 million, uh, worth, worth of insurance. Yeah. That's a big deal, dude. I mean, for crypto in general, the fact that they can, that, I mean, Lloyd's is probably the only place that you could get insured, um, cause mm -hmm. they underwrite like crazy stuff. Yeah, so, so they're the ones that can that can write a special policy, but I thought that was really cool, and it really lends to the uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, as legitimacy, don't just, isn't it? Yeah, just legitimacy, but more like security. security. I know some people. Some people were talking about crypto.com, like you know, yeah, because that's a big thing. I mean, you're 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 putting your bank, your credit. I mean, it's a lot of trust. Yeah. So it's really it's it's really cool that they have that uh got that insurance mm -hmm. and they have that they're insured for that much. Um. What's going on with the uh, so the Bitcoin the Bitcoin purchase is the Bitcoin's over. What's up next That's for the over. syndicate? Next up on the syndicate is Icon, and uh, usual uh, half a million dollars worth allocation, and it is starting on the twenty sixth of May. Okay, so another one. I mean, Jesus, these are coming. These are coming like uh, hundred miles an hour now. Yeah, so, well, that's two. Two in a month, isn't it? Uh, it was like the twelfth and then the twenty sixth. Yeah. Um, they're also giving away uh, from the exchange. Oh. Can I just, a, well, 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 go ahead. Don't, don't, don't kill us because I, I know it's a big announcement. Um, I just wanted to say that um, on the last trading comp, I actually won something on the uh, exchange. Yeah, you told me. What'd you win? Uh, nine bucks. So, you see, Sean, you see what you're missing out? Well, I don't want to miss out on this, so we need to talk about this, especially on camera, so I can legally hold you to it. Um, part of the, uh, the announcement they made is they're giving away a Tesla Model 3 yeah. um, from the exchange, though, which I can't take part of. So, if we, you know, uh, uh, are involved in the exchange and we win the Tesla Model 3, then, then what you just give it to me? Well, I, I'm not gonna take it. That's what I wanted to hear. So, okay, yeah. I'll take it, but then I'll give you a ride anywhere you want to go when you come. You no, know, I tell you what. What we'll do is we'll sell it, and I'll give you fifty percent of its worth. Okay, we we'll split it. Yeah, I know. I thought that's what we we're gonna have to do. Fuck you, getting nothing. Okay, I mean, it's getting. Hey, 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 I know we're probably gonna do it, but it still would have been cool to have the Tesla. You could say we can't both use it. I know. Well, we could. It be, yeah. be, be, wouldn't be very cost effective. <clears throat> plus, <laughs> plus, you know, you got your, you got that two twenty volt over there. We got one hundred ten over here. We, okay. sure plus, the border's been closed. It's a bit of a bit of a problem also. Yeah, and then, you know, the shipping and all. It would be not cost effective. All right. Yeah. Okay. So I thought that's probably what we'd end up doing. And there's a daily draw of a thousand thousand dollars in BTC on top of that. Yes, there is a. Uh, Daily drop, yeah, but I was kind of floored by the, the Tesla because that is cool. The just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, well, they're getting bigger and bigger. They hit two million. One billion. 
CRO is worth an American cap. Oh, Mark, yeah, but they hit 2 million users. 2 million which is, users, yeah. You know, they, they hit, it took them <clears throat> like a year to hit yeah. uh, 1 million, yeah. and then it took them six months to hit two. Yeah, so if we, hit, if we hit three, especially if we hit another run, you know, that's going to, because my family and friends, they'll download the crypto.com app. Yeah. They'll do that. You know what I mean? That's the Coinbase. They won't even do Coinbase. Yeah. But they will download the crypto.com app and then yeah. ask me to send them crypto. All yeah. right. Um, <clears throat> we should hit Dragon Chain. We've been, we've been studying Dragon Chain, looking at Dragon Chain. It's yeah. like so impressive. It's crazy. Yeah. You know, awesome. we've, we've been talking about Dragon Chain for like a month now. If you guys listened to us a month ago, it was two cents. Yeah. It is over 10, heading towards 11. That's so you, you would have, what, four extra money, eight, no, five X. You'd have five extra money by now in a month. That's a lot, 500%. Um, <clears throat> okay. I wish I'd I wish I'd have put more in at two cents, but I put a chunk in at two, and then some at three, and then some at like four. So... I'm still, is, I'm still happy. But. Oh yeah, man, you gotta be happy. I mean, what, your investment is up serious percentages. Yeah, I've, I think I've like overall almost tripled. Wow. Yeah. The funny thing is, the minute we started looking at that, when it was like two cents, I remember saying to you, "We got, we gotta get into this now because this is an, this is just a crazy price." And within a week, it started, it started making its move. Yeah. As soon as we heard it about the, because I used to, I used to really be into Dragon Chain when it first came out. It was super, super hyped, and I thought it was really cool. And then, you know, with the, it was super hyped. It was, it was like massively hyped. Exactly and then, the so, so it got hit even harder with the, uh, with the bear market. Um, but like we made the point, man, what, there's no other project where the token or coin has been beaten down yeah. as much yeah. as this. And the, then, and the community is still like, it's great, man. It's great. We love it. You know, they're yeah. still super pumped. Community is yeah. awesome. Uh, one of the most like positive said, communities. Now. Yeah, like I said, we've been looking at it and and uh, and researching it. Um, we're looking at setting up nodes. Was the L L two, L two, L three, and L four? Yeah. Um, just just started looking at them today. So a bit of research. Yeah. yeah, it's not. They're not like regular nodes. It's not like a staking thing. Yeah, actually, they're a little technical, but they uh, they have really good um, instructions. You can get them in yeah. the uh, in the Telegram group. In the very, blog, very, blog yeah, yeah, very detailed, all yeah. laid out. Um, it's really just like helping to secure the network. We're not sure 100 percent like the the rewards are, are decent if they're small, but it's mainly kind of taking part in the community and helping to secure the network and all that by running the node. And you can run it from a you can run it from the, a cloud node, so you don't have to have your computer running or have a dedicated computer. Uh, but it's pretty. It looks pretty cool. We're, like I said, everything with Dragon Chain is pretty cool. Still trying to get a hold of the the founder to uh, to do an interview. Yeah, that'd we'll be talk awesome. to him. Um, I talked to some of the, the Divi people and they're reaching out to him for me. <laughs> Speaking of Divi, there wow, is Wow, no, this, this is an update. This is a weekly yeah, update. Yeah. There's a buttload of stuff to go over Divi. Also, Divi's up like massively. Yeah. Uh, massively. I still, I'm still staking a bunch. I have instead of my gold node, which I keep saying I'm going to do it this week, but I'm going to do it this week. It's just been crazy with uh, all the work we're doing with the Exchangely. Um, yeah. Which yeah. We'll, 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 we'll hit on that a little bit, but... Uh, I need to get that set up and do a video, and I'm not setting it up because I want to do a video on it, so I keep putting off setting it up. Um, but I'm going to do that yeah, I, this week. Speaking of the price, speaking of the DVD, like you know how much is up in the last 24 hours? Like 12 percent. Is it really? Because it was up like 25, like not long yeah. ago. But like it's yeah. all green. It's up almost 300 percent for the year, man. Jesus, that's yeah. fucking crazy. Yeah, that is. Uh, that and 2.0 is not even out yet. And 2.0 is not even out yet. Yeah. 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 Um. But you, the 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 window is the window is getting narrow now though. Yeah, I was talking to the to one of the founders the other day, and uh, I was like, "Man, I'm so stoked for 2.0." He goes, "Nah, I'm mm -hmm. thinking 3.0 already. Yes. I'm already making plans 3.0." So, man, they're going to move so fast this this year. Yeah, this year is going to move so freaking quick. This is going to be crazy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. look at the start that made. They're almost 300 percent. Oh yeah, we need to go over some of the because you know we we keep hitting on this one big partnership because it's not i mean it's the, i think it's the biggest one ever and, and, and i i think it's the biggest the biggest partnership announcement in crypto ever remember when verge made the big thing it's like oh the biggest announcement the biggest thing in crypto ever, and it was pornhub, pornhub yeah. like this is legitimately quietly they're just yeah. like oh yeah we, we 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 uh we did this i think this is the biggest 
the biggest thing there is. Um, they don't pat themselves in the back enough. No, and that actually pisses me off. I get angry. Yeah. You know, and I don't then, even realize how some of the achievements. That, yeah, and I keep you know, like, do you understand what you did? And they're like, yeah, that's just the way it has to be. And it is true, man. And it changed yeah. my it, it's changed my uh, my outlook on everything. But I told I I told you know, all of them I was like, you guys raised the bar. It's like this is how this is the standard now. And like we've talked about, either other projects are going to get on board and they have to make it this simple, or yeah. they're going to die. They're going to go away. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Because you can't have you can't have a wallet that you open up and it looks like, you know, something a coder would, you know, have fun with. It has to look good. It has to be easy. It has to be super easy, you know? Um, and that's what they're doing. And, and now whenever I'm talking to devs or, or anything, it's like, you know, use the word they use. It's, that's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. I was like, you know, to, to update this, we had to do this and this. It goes, hey, it's unacceptable. Yeah. It's got to be that, you know, super easy or it's just not good enough. It's unacceptable. Um, like let's go over, let's go, process, over the, let's go over the Divi stuff because yeah. we can hit on that. That uh, is it. We I always forget which one is WeChat or WhatsApp. Yeah, WhatsApp. Yeah, WhatsApp is owned by Facebook, so they made this partnership. They're going to be, it's like Bitcoin, and what's and and Divi and probably Facebook coin. I mean that that's like that's there's nothing. I mean what's what do they have like a billion users or something? It's crazy. Oh, it's insane! It's insane. Um. There was a Twitter post this week showing that the, you know they actually the moving of Divi you know, on WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. you, know, you see it? It's like yeah, I did. It's like it's like a few seconds long. The voice did it. It was, and it's so freaking simple. And, and once again, it's like just you know if it's Divi, so that's just the way it is. Simple Your phone number but in. You, yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to put in a, a wallet address and all the numbers and the hexamonic number. All no, no, you just put in the dude's phone number or the person's phone number. And hit search, and it goes. It's connected to WhatsApp. It pulls up their Divi wallet okay, by their phone number, and you can send it to them. You send them. He said, "We sent one Divi." You you know using that the phone number. It, it's insane. You know what, that video is so good. I'm gonna put. I, I think I'll put a description to. I'll put a link in the description to that video. Yeah, because it it's, blows it's, your mind. It's 50 seconds. Yeah, it's 50 seconds of explaining it. So mm. if you just did it, it would be like 25 seconds to send yeah. Divi. To someone on WhatsApp. Imagine if you're on Facebook, or you're in the Divi app, or you're on your desktop wallet, and you don't even have WhatsApp. Yeah. You don't even have to have it to send someone money on WhatsApp. That's just that's insane. Once you bring up, once yes. you bring up the Divi announcements, we'll go through them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, share screen here. Share screen. Why is share screen not fucking working, dude? Oh I think God, you no! It's in the middle of the screen where it always is. It's moved gone to the left hey, you asked me earlier did i have that more button yes did you have the more you had the more button you said it's not there it yeah because i'm doing the zoom I don't have it. i'm moving this box down here to see if that makes anything it does not make anything let's but... see let's see okay wow there's so much going through here dude development update okay so like we're saying yeah uh desktop update is imminent uh is coming to all platforms next new desktop version 1.7 is coming to all platforms next week some of the exciting updates i mean look at these dude that's a lot of updates that makes me think that 2.0 is just around the corner yeah. yeah i mean i mean i'm just saying that's what it looks like to me but all right yeah divi pay man yeah and it, i think this, th yeah that's gonna that's the way it is dude it's gonna be I think Divi's gonna be bigger than even you think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be. But I say top twenty. Yeah, and I think it's top ten. Wow, man, that's... I mean, that, dude, that 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 WhatsApp, it's just, it's it's there's nothing like it. You know what I mean? The uses if that if that many people are using it, it, it has to it has to move up that much. Yeah. Yeah. Website yeah. development. Yeah. And there's uh, the there, there's the there's WhatsApp the... bot. Also, the uh, the the I don't know if we ever talked about their podcast. It's really really good. Yeah, yeah. We used to mention it at the beginning. I haven't mentioned it in a few weeks, but yeah, it's uh, they have some uh, they do some excellent podcasts, man. Uh, I have missed the last few actually now that you mentioned it. Is this the WhatsApp channel partnership? 
well, this integration uh, by the channel person is not the endeavor's extent for not, free or not. There's much more to come. See, they're, they're only just starting on this, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is what I was telling you about earlier. The Wikipedia. You didn't think, uh, you thought I was making that up? You do make things up. <laughs> I do. I, I'll admit that. But I thought that's fucking, that's a brilliant name, man. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, not, that you, not that you need much of it because everything's so simple. You know what I mean? Yeah. New records for the master notes. Four hundred seven coppers. Yeah. 185 gold soon. Because I'll be setting mine up. Okay. There's no need to rub it in. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy for you. Very happy for you. I'm glad I got so. I'm glad I got it when I did, dude. Because the price went up so much, man. Yeah, yeah. I was going to buy some more today. But I thought, shit. Um, I'm spread a bit thin with dragon between dragon chain and uh, DV. You know what I mean? Uh, oh yeah, they reached the all time Mar- uh, high market cap this uh, this week. And still, what what, it what's like two hundred fifty million? I think. I got. I got to look at that. No, no, it's not even two hundred fifty. That's twenty four million. They're dude, They're gonna be so huge, man. I thought it was It's only twenty four million. Yeah, I was thinking for a ten x, it's gonna be two hundred forty million, which would be so easy for this to have two hundred forty million. Just my opinion. Did you see this? Uh, they've had the over six thousand five hundred signups for the DVP uh, um, app. That's crazy. No? That is nice. Yeah, it's like before we even get going, like look at all these guys waiting to waiting to rock. They have the USDT pair imminent on sticks. Sticks, yeah, yeah. And that's the podcast. That's. Whew. That's a lot of updates in one week, dude. It is. Speaking of them listed on Stacks, we're, um, we're uh, doing a lot of work with Exchangely. You know, like mm-hmm. we made our announcement that I'm the chief marketing uh, officer and Lee's the chief uh, marketing advisor over at Exchangely, the first uh, multi chain DEX. Um, mm-hmm. We're in late stage beta, we're fixing to, to launch. We're going to set up a, a bounty um, really, really soon. Um, it's amazing, uh, amazing exchange. It'll be the, the it'll be the top DEX period, um, and will be one of the top exchanges of you know of all exchanges. Yeah. Um, but we're going to list Divi, of course. We've talked to the devs. Um, um, we'll probably have a USDT Divi and a USDT Bitcoin pair. That'd be awesome. Um, maybe a Ethereum pair. Uh, yeah, but that's that's coming. Um, I've already talked to them, and it's it, they're they're good to go with with uh, setting that up. Um, also, speaking with Exchangely, uh, like we told you, the basic update on Exchangely that uh, you can head over there and check it out. Um, <clears throat> I had talked to the devs about uh, opening or setting up a faucet because they built their own blockchain, the mm-hmm. fast uh, fast. Access. Access. I'm going to say action. Fast access blockchain, FAB. And FAB is the gas. So whenever you open a, a wallet up, you need to have some FAB to you have transactions. So I talked to them about setting a faucet up where you can just go and get, you know, a little bit of FAB to put it into gas so you can start using your, your wallet immediately. Um, so check that out. It's coming. I went on uh, Bitcoin Ben this week and talked to him about Exchangely. And of course, it's Bitcoin Ben. So we talked about a lot of other things, but uh, one overall, the exchange stuff first. Um, we did it on his Patreon channel on, I think, like Tuesday or Wednesday, but he's putting that out tomorrow um, mm-hmm. as far as the, the end of the weekend. He's going to premiere it there. Uh, but we had a lot of people come over to Exchangely, came over to our Telegram and started uh, talking to everyone. And some people are asking about mining. Um, fab. Uh, Which reminds me. With regards to mining, uh, we'll be putting up a FAQ for everything in the next few days. And um, the, dev, the devs are still working on the, the mining pool, so it's not yeah, 100%. The, yeah, the mining pool, yeah. Um, but a lot of, there's a lot of updates coming with Exchange over the next couple of weeks. You're going to see big changes, you know what I mean, with regards implementation and stuff, you know, so... Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty, awesome. pretty awesome. But yeah. you can't you can download the Exchangely app 
app. Yeah. On Android now, you can yeah. download it on uh, iOS now, but it's not 100% uh, finished. So I think you can just trade Fab on it. Maybe EXG, but the 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 Bitcoin and Ethereum are on there, and you can send to you can send to them. But I don't know if you can trade yet. Um, that's about oh, on Bitcoin Ben, I was there for. We we ended up talking for like an hour and, and ten minutes or something. It was it ran really long. But uh, he talking about Hodlet. He talked about Hodlet a lot before, um, about a year ago, and then well since then he's always mentioning mentioning it. So he talked to me about that. I've been looking into it. It looks pretty cool. Uh, I've been talking talking with them too about uh you know sponsoring the channel, um, but it, it's kind of like a I talked to you about it. Lee. It's a like an app. Um, yeah. you, you connect your bank or your credit card or your debit mm -hmm. card to it, and it's like a roundup. Um, you know they have like a built-in exchange, but you can pick whatever um, coin you want. Like if you want to buy Dash or Bitcoin or Ethereum or Litecoin, and then it just rounds up your purchases from your debit card, and you it automatically buys like a savings, I guess, with, but you, you know, buying crypto. So if you buy something that's like a, a buck 50, then it would round it to $2 and you buy 50 cents worth of Litecoin. Um, and then that builds up, which I thought's a really cool idea. Uh, so I'm talking, uh, we're, we're looking into that. I'll probably go over it a lot more uh, next week. We'll go over it then. Anything yeah. Else um, I'd week? be interested to take a more uh, in-depth look at that, to be honest, John. Uh, yeah. I just have time this week with all the exchange list stuff. And so next week we'll, We'll, uh, we'll have a proper look at that, yeah. Yeah, we've been super, super busy. Anything yeah. else you want to go over or you're, or you're doing this week? I tell you what, do you remember a few weeks back, I did a, I did a review for a project called PZ in Cash, yeah? Yeah. Um, so they finished up their sales on the 1st of May, and uh, you know, I was quite surprised. This. They sold 54 million of their tokens, of their coins, yeah? They they only had eight million left over uh, of the of the sale, which they distributed to all the people that took part. And uh, I was looking up for an update to see what's happening. Um, and the official wallet is due to launch uh, later next week uh, with their own blockchain following shortly after that. You know, That's so. pretty cool. Yeah, I knew you did the what, the the review on them was a week, couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, maybe a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I watched it. I, I'll, I'll check it out. I might, might do a do something on it myself. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that is uh, that's impressive. A lot of stuff, a lot of wallets. But uh, yeah, the numbers about impress me. You know? Yeah, the numbers. That's pretty impressive, dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's not much else to talk about. Uh, you just cover the huddle thing. Yeah, I mean, well, what a fucking busy week, dude. It was, it's been a busy week. I mean, uh, it's been real busy for the United States government. While we're busy working, they on, passed the ranch a law. Is coming. The they ranch passed, is coming. They passed a law yeah. where now in the United States, the FBI doesn't need a warrant to look at your browsing history. Um, uh, they they kind of it, it was an extension of like the Patriot Act, I think. But they this passed, which is insane to me. And I talked about it like on my Facebook, and most all my friends are like. I don't care. I don't have anything to hide. I don't care. I don't need to hide. I just look at I just look at recipes and menopause things. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's an actual comment, dude. There's an actual comment on, on my yeah, post. What kind of mix you got? Yeah, it's, well, it's a woman. It's not a like a dude. Oh, it's not one of the guys. That's fair enough. Yeah. She's like, so, but I'm like, you know, that, that's not the point, man. There's not a point that you don't need to hide. You know, I mean, if you're horny, that doesn't mean someone can rape you. It's not, you know, it's not cool. How did you do that? There's, 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 that's why we have doors on bathrooms. Like everybody poops. Can I come in and watch? No. That's why there's a door. The door I'm, going to the, I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> it's just privacy is privacy. You know what I mean? Plus, I agree with you 100%, dude. But, but, you know, the, the, the worrying thing is, like you said, it, it's, it's, it's gone over a lot of people's heads. Yeah. You just don't get it. I mean, people are so wound up in themselves at the moment. It's fucking insane. I was talking to somebody today, and I was, and I was talking about the same thing about privacy and freedoms, and this fucking corona thing is pissing me off because we're uh, all this shit's getting eroded, and nobody's saying anything. Nobody's saying anything. Yeah, well, if uh, my when I talked to Roger Veer, we talked about that a lot, and it just seems like all through history, man, whenever yeah. any tyrant or anyone tried to take freedoms. They had to take it and fight for it, and it was like yeah. a big deal. 
Yeah. But not now. I mean, they've, I think they've, they've learned, I mean, what do you call them? Whatever you want, their history, the aristocrats, yeah. the elitist, what the ruling class has finally learned. Mm-hmm. You don't have to fight. You don't have to die. Mm-hmm. You don't have to put uh, you know, all this. You just scare people. Yeah, scare people and yeah. They're just hand over their, their privacy, their rights, their freedoms. Yeah, you know? fucking nuts. nuts. I mean, if you think about it, like, look at, look at the situation in Hungary at the moment, right? One guy is ruling again, that's it. The government yeah. disbanded. And you know, the EU said at the time, oh, fuck, you can't be at that thing. Yeah. But there's been no repercussions. No. No. So if one guy can do it in the Eastern Bloc, why can't somebody else go and do it? I mean, it's just these things, once you, once you let one thing slip under the, under the radar and you don't tackle it head on, I mean, history has told us like that. It yeah. escalated. What's the EU going to do? Exactly. What are the fuck? Send doing? their send their EU forces somewhere? No. Well, this generation no, doing. Is not give a fuck about anything. They? They're they're a toothless entity. Yeah, toothless. You know, and if they do want to push it, then you know they'll they, they'll push uh, Hungary to uh, partner up. I mean, Italy's ready to go. You're ready to go, yeah. You know, UK's gone. Did you see Germany just banned bur- the burning of the EU flag? Can't burn it anymore. It's leaked. <laughs> Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I know. I just uh, like, people. I know. Like, people wake the fuck up. You know? Whenever, whenever M- Macron did his uh, inauguration, and he didn't have the French flag or the French uh, uh, anthem playing, national anthem, it was all EU flags. That was like, yeah. that's like, yeah. especially because France. France is like, uh, they you call, know, they, they call Americans when things go wrong, don't they? No, but France is like you know they they invented democracy. They, you know, it's like the cradle of a lot of 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 our, uh, not history, or of of cult, our, the world culture. You know, Western culture, I guess you could call it. You know, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah. Okay, so to see it, you know, just like hand it over. Hand it over. That's the exact way it says. Yeah, it's it's sad, man. That's sad. Yeah, but. Uh, like you said, man, you scare people enough, they, they just fucking, they lie down and say, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. And it's worrying. It's worrying that it's just, it's worrying the amount of people I've spoken to and they've gone, hmm, what the fuck are you talking about? This is a fucking virus, hey, shut the fuck up. I'm like, wow. Wake the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. You are, uh, and that's another thing, that there's this weird... It's turning this us versus them thing, just like everything else, race, everything else. You know, it's like you wear a mask or I think if you don't wear a mask, don't fucking wear a mask. If you own a business, you know, I said, just change it. It's no shirt, no shoes, no mask, no service. If you don't wear a mask, don't, can't shop there. You know, you don't want to wear a shirt, can't shop there. It's it's the same thing. I mean, that, that's like that's a standard. No shirt, no oh, shoes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't go. In, you can't, you can't go in the store. So that maybe that's a new thing. You should, but it's it's your business if you want to open it. Fine. But, yeah, it's uh, your business. It's your fucking business. It's your. You, I, that's got like people can't see that. You know. No. You have the freedom and the right to open up a fucking business. It doesn't matter where you are. But also, you have the you the business owner has the right to make you wear a fucking mask. Yeah. So if you exactly. go in there, don't shoot the McDonald's <coughs> person. Don't punch yeah. the dude. No, you, you're not. You don't go in the fucking store. Yeah. Unless you're wearing a mask. If they, and if they don't want to make it so you have to wear a mask, then fine. You can go to those stores. Which comes back to the Which, freedom, to make, freedom to make choices. But, but like I was talking to Veer, there hasn't been the, – the, the real uh, free market is suppressed. That's, that's it. I mean if, if someone – if there was a store that said you don't have to wear a mask to come in here, Everyone who didn't want to wear a mask would go to that store. They wouldn't go to the other store and fight the people telling them to put a mask on and, you know, punch a dude in the face. And then, you know, price price would change. Maybe the the no maskers would pay more. Maybe they, you know, and then then the mask would be like, hey, they're making more money over there. Yeah. Maybe we're gonna, you know what I mean? It's all the the market. The market works. Yeah. You know, if and then it gets back to just the whole the whole uh, bailout thing with the airlines. If they would have been allowed to fail, Southwest would be like the only airline in the United States. Or, or, and there's like from OAS. It's, it's but, but there would be like three airlines in the United States, all the smaller ones. They would be able to buy, and what would happen? And and Veer said, you know, yeah, all those air, all those airplanes they don't disappear. 
Yeah, they don't disappear. Yeah. Yeah. Southwest would be able to buy all those fucking planes, yeah. and they would become they their stock and everything else would quadruple overnight. Yeah. And they would be they would be the biggest airline company in the world. Yeah. Com- that was a good point, now, now here here's the point though, the the company the airline company that has the best satisfaction rating, mm-hmm. that has the the best customer satisfaction, the best um, you know. Uh, uh, track record on keeping things on time, all that. That company would be the number one company. That sounds like the free market at work. You know what I mean? Whereas now they're still they're kept the same size. Yeah. The the company that overbooks and then beats the crap out of people that don't yeah. want to get off the plane. That's fucking insanity. The company that's an asshole to people. Yeah. They're holding on to their their position of power. Yeah. Well, that's not a free market at all. Propped up. Propped up. Yeah. Until until uh, oh it's over now let's go again I mean that's fucking bullshit dude let me yeah go. let them go let them fucking go do you know what pisses me off now we're we talking now you're talking about fucking airlines Richard Branson applied to the uh, it's applying to the UK UK government for a, a bailout yeah <laughs> I'm gonna, fucking, I'm, wait you hear this fucking shit dude he applied for NHS contracts, National Health Service contracts, a few years back, he didn't get them. He sued the NHS for 84 million, right? Yeah. Cheeky fucking bastard, right? He doesn't even, he hasn't lived in the UK for 15 fucking years, dude. He doesn't pay tax to the UK, and then he expects the British government to fucking bail out his fucking airline, even though he sacked all his staff the minute this thing kicked in. Oh yeah, now, he did, didn't he? he? Yeah, he fired everybody and then, and then applied the for the money. What the fuck, like? You know? Yeah. Speaking of that, oh, two rents this week. Oh, this is gonna be good. This will be good. This is this is, this is a big one because I'm gonna be. It's a religion. Oh, don't bring that into. Oh, you. it's gonna be. Yeah, it's a good one. So you know, you know, the the government offered small business loans and small business money to uh, yeah. as part of the you know uh, bailout, yeah. and you know it, it came out that like a lot of like big companies got like twenty million dollars. So they one of them gave it back like steak and shake or whatever I think. Yeah. But the Catholic Church got nine different uh, stimulus checks for like like nine million each or something like that, or nine yeah. million total, which I think is completely wrong, um, because they're all satellites of the Vatican, and the Vatican is one of the richest countries in the world. I don't even think. And here's here's think about this. This is this is something to think about. I don't think that Catholic churches are churches because they're part of the Vatican, which is a country. Mm-hmm. I think Catholic churches are embassies of the mm-hmm. Vatican. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. It's a good way of putting it. They are completely tax tax all their money is tax free. I was gonna say that too. They get all all those all those benefits and uh <clears throat> they also have like like legal uh legal legal loopholes or whatever what's it called? Like safeguards or whatever, um, so I think they're more embassies of the Vatican than they are just like a Baptist church or a, a mosque or a whatever a Buddhist temple. Well, come here. Let me ask you a question. There's no for bailouts I, because they're, they're, I guess I don't know. The application must be super simple. Or this, I guess. Well, they got plenty of that, but like nine of them got approved. That's and it, it's 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 wrong. Even if they, I mean, if because if they need it, they mm. should get the money from the from the Vatican. That's that's. Well, there's the pot of gold back home. Go on, fucking give them a ring. Yeah, that's and if, if if the Vatican doesn't want to give money to your church and the church falls, and oh, but it's necessary for the community, and they have food banks, and they do, yeah, yeah. But that's not. But then then you know, once again, it's the market, dude. I mean, I'm sure there's other other food banks that aren't connected to a. Absolutely. You know, a, 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 a fake country Yeah, yeah. Well, that helped, the, you know. I'm sure the U.S. is full of them too, eh? Yeah. Small independent, uh, independent ones. <laughs> oh, we had one when we have uh, the, was the United Armed Forces Benefit Association. Mm-hmm. We had a food bank that we ran um, for, you know, I, the was a financial advisor. We, we focused on the military, but we had a food bank that we ran. Mm-hmm. There was like probably, and the Catholic Church had a food bank um, in in the in the city, 
And then, um, there, but there was plenty of food banks, but there was a, but they, I don't think they were run by, I don't know if it was, because the Catholic church in my town didn't have one, mm-hmm. but the one in, uh, in the next city over did, but still, man, I mean, that's, that's funded by their, you know, tax-free money from their parishioners. And, and, he, and, and plus they pay, they pay the Vatican. They send money home. Yeah, they send it back to, yeah. to mom and yeah. dad. Yeah. So it's fucking insane, but it's a country. It's not just a church. Even if it's the, you know, the, the head of the church, it's still a country. Yeah, it's a, it's a state, and, yeah. and, and though all the churches have, they have uh, a lot of special all over the world. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's just my, well, wasn't my, that my why it was, that. wasn't that the main reason why Scientology wanted to be recognized as a religion? Was it like tax benefits and stuff? Tax benefits thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a big part of it. But Scientology, no other religion, even the you know weird or, or ancient or whatever, none of them have a, a country. You know, there's only three. London, London's not not really part of England. It's its own. That's it's a city state. London is a city state. The Vatican is a city state, and Washington D.C. is a city state. Also, they all have uh, large obelisks in the uh, middle of town, so there's like a connection to the uh, Illuminati and all that. But that's a different thing. You can Google that. Whoa, whoa! This video's gone long enough. We go down that road. We'll so, for another minutes. well, yeah. But I thought the thing was weird about the the Catholic Church getting the loans, and I don't think they should. And yeah, then I, of- the, and the more I thought about it, I was like, they really are just like an embassy of a country of the country of the Vatican. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of weird shit going on. I'd say one thing before to wrap this up. When this is all over, it's the people that are going to get fucked. You know, these bills are going to get paid. Well, I wonder about that. I mean, so if there's if there's a church, that property is owned by the Catholic Church, which is the Vatican. Churches won't get fucked, but it'll be the it'll be. No, the no, I, no, no, I got a question, man. I got a question. So that that so that technically, that property is owned by a foreign country. Mm-hmm. It's because it's owned by the Vatican. Technically, yeah. Which has a, a, an army. Could they? Yes. De- could could they? Could literally they deploy the Swiss Guard at, at saying, churches? I don't think they have enough of them, man. I know, but I mean, is that a? The, the, could they do that? In theory, I, I would probably. I would think not. I would think not. You know. Because they're, yeah, it's a thing. I guess they're because it's, it's, it, it's it's not the their land that the, the land that's built on wouldn't be theirs, dude. So they wouldn't have really any claim to it, would they? No, the land's built on is theirs. They own the land. The church owns the land. Yeah, but you can't say like that. It, yeah, I know that, but then you cannot say that. That's yeah, it's because it's not an actual embassy, so it's not the country's soil, yeah. but the country yeah, soil, yeah. But the court, but the country owns it because it's literally it's not like a, a, a Japanese or some other foreign company it's a foreign government that owns that owns it which it's not that's not a normal thing no it's not let's wrap it up let's wrap it up that's about it for this week i'm satoshi sean he's the irishman from kiss thank you for watching guys it was good hanging out with y'all we'll see y'all in the next video yes